until now, we haven't really had the actual, true, complete Woodstock. 50 seems like the right time to do this. Was the whole festival recorded? That's a question people always ask, and the answer is yes. There are fantastic performances from Woodstock that aren't in the movie because they simply weren't filmed. You made me so very happy. But for, for our purposes in 2019, we have done everything we possibly could to find everything. Our job is to take those tapes, which have been in storage for decades now, bring them back to my studio, which has a collection of vintage tape machines, and we'll play the tapes back and try to recreate the sound that happened on stage at the time, not enhancing it too much, trying to keep it very literal, very realistic. We're presenting not just music, we're presenting how it felt to be at the event. The New York State Thruway is closed, man. The 10-CD set is the first ever compilation to include performances by every single act that played at Woodstock. That's never existed before. It runs about 13 hours. It's a remarkably long listening experience that gives you a whole lot of the flavor of what went down. There's also a book included with the 10-CD set that includes liner notes, photos, context generally will help you kind of take your tour of Max Yasger's farm on those three days. There's also a three CD or five LP set that captures some of the most iconic moments of Woodstock and the 1960s. It really allows you to kind of soak up some of the real highlights of the festival. So what you'll hear now, in 2019, is something we could never even have dreamed that we could present 10 years ago. We had to wait until 2019 for this. I'm not feeling that good myself, no, no, no.